Ooh, doggies, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Have you guys ever wondered what tows better? Is it an old truck or a new truck? Well, today we're gonna find out because this is Gunsmoke, a 1989 Ford F350 diesel. Come on with me. Here, we have a 1994 Ram 2500 heavy duty with the Cummins, with the turbo. And over here, we have Andre with a brand new Nissan Titan. Pulling what, Andre? 8,500 pounds. So in this video, we're gonna hook up that Land Rover to all three trucks, and we're gonna do a zero to 60 run on our dead end road to find out which one is quickest to 60. You ready, uh, Andre? Yes, and I'm excited to see how diesel compares to gas. How classic compares to modern. In other words, a TFL old versus newer versus brand new. Well, let's unhook this trailer and do it. Sounds like a proper truck, huh? Fuel exhaust, gun smoke. That's the way we used to tow in my day. Actually, I had an RX-7 in my day, so I have no clue. But I'm gonna go with that. That's the way we used to tow in my day. Keep in mind that there is about, oh, about four miles worth of play in the steering. Well, what kind of a runway do I have to slow down? I mean, I'm not an airline pilot, but I think you can park a 747 on this. 10-4, I got this road sign as my marker. All right, good luck. Roll some coal, dude. Got it. I don't have a lot of RPM. I'm flat out, 35 miles an hour, I am going to space, okay, 45, I can't do it, hey guys, I reached 48 miles an hour, but I, I couldn't do it anymore. I was in third gear at 45 and I had no acceleration basically. So back in the day, if you were towing like 8,500 pounds, you were doing it at 50 miles an hour. Uh, that Which is plenty, which is fine. Unless you didn't have a lifted truck. In which That's, case, maybe you got it up to 60. Dude, and I had, I almost was running out of runway actually. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go with the Cummins. Maybe a little bit more modern turbocharged diesel will be able to do better. All right, let's do it. So Andre has gone from an 89 Ford to a 94 Ram with the Cummins. Uh, but the big difference, let's face it, five years apart isn't all that huge. But the big difference, of course, is the turbo and the Cummins. Okay, this brake controller is a little bit touchy. Hold on a second, I need to readjust my trailer brake. Hold on. Dude, you are, uh, holy cow. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Dude, you are, uh, holy cow. Oh boy, that is not good. You're also squatting a bit. How about now, you good? Oh yeah, that looks much better. Oh, I just fine-tuned it, it's perfect. So, Andre, you're rolling on a 94 now, you know that. You know, back in 94, I was in high school. I'm actually impressed with uh, Gunsmoke, even the name, even though the name is Gunsmoke. You didn't roll a lot of coal, it just sounded really badass. Let's see how much coal you'll be rolling with this uh, 94 Ram. Well, I think this 94 Ram also has a few modifications, custom exhaust, and what? who knows what else Case did to this. So you're probably looking at 250 horsepower, 400 pound foot of torque, but we're guesstimating, Andre. Oh, what about 
about mile high, uh, mile high and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's just, uh, you know, par for the course, dude. All right, let's roll this thing. Come on, I'm curious to see if you can make it to 60. Oh, yeah. Low gear. Second gear. Got a little bit of smoke. Third gear. Whoa, it's getting some smoke. It's accelerating. A little bit of smoke. 50 miles an hour. 55. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay. For some reason, the trailer brakes are a little bit touchy. Yes, I can stop. 35.7 seconds. Whoa. All right. Now the question is, can a modern half ton, our Nissan Titan, be 35 seconds? Well, let's hope so. You got, you got an airbag in the back and the Ford had a help release spring. <laughs> the Nissan has none of that. It's just straight from the factory. Yeah, Nissan should be a little bit more calm. Yeah. And probably faster. And a little bit more uh, melodious because I think you got XM radio. <laughs> well, I also have a big gas V8 in that truck too. You know, it's the most powerful full-size V8 you can buy if you fill it up with the right gas. Standard, yeah. Standard. How many yeah. horsepower? 400. Okay, so I think if you were driving, you could have shaved a couple of seconds off. I was watching too many things were going on. I was shifting. And then the speedometer, your speedometer is not corrected, dude. It's a work in progress. So when I was going 55, I was already at 60. And I kind of, you know, I was surprised. Well, I think the Nissan won't surprise you on that. <laughs> you think you can do it in half the amount of time? That means you went, what, 35, you said? Yeah. So we have to go sub. 17 seconds you think you can do that cut it in half it's hard it will be hard all right let's find out let's see if you can line this hitch up just using your backup camera uh, nice work andre can a 2020 modern half ton truck out accelerate an f350 from 89 and a 2500 cummins ram from 94 we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. And behind the wheel is the man who can do it, Andre. What's your uh, what's your handle? Bullet. People call me Bullseye. You know, if your uh, nickname, if your handle was uh, Smirnov Vodka, you'd be Andre Smirnov Smirnov. I have no relation to the family of Smirnov. I'm in tow hole mode. All of the modes are set up. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna just launch it and see what happens. Good launch. Oh, listen to that V8. 45. Fifty. Fifty-five. Sixty. Very quick. Oh, wow, Andre, that was impressive. You hit your brakes right past us. So, how long did that take? Oh, boy, boy, it's very, very close, dude, to what we wanted, but no cigar. All right, what's the number, please? 19.0719. All right, bring it on home, dude. I've got an idea uh, for later this year. Can you guess what it is? I'm smelling mega eye gauntlet. You are wrong, my friend. Come on over here and I'll tell you. All right, Andre. Yo. So how much weight are we towing again? We're talking about 8,500 pounds. How much will the TRX tow? Ooh. Ooh. 8,100. So uh, it's within the same realm of possibility. So maybe we need to do it with the TRX. I think you have an idea there. You have an idea. Well, guys, there you have it. Technology and modern engine wins the day. We've got two 
old school heavy duty trucks with diesels that were trounced, Andre, absolutely trounced yeah. by a new half ton. But those old trucks also have some sort of a, no, just endearing quality to it. Yeah, I can smell it still. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching TFL Truck. <laughs> Remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news views and real world towing reviews. And if you like Andre's Ike shirt, you can click on the link below, buy one for yourself and help support the team so that we can afford to pay for that TRX so we can afford to actually find out just how fast it will tow. See you guys next time. Ciao.